Oh, that has to be a pretty powerful case for, really, for intervening. It's, uh, uh, it's quite uh, surreal, actually, listening to Neil at the news wall, that this is a country that we're told is virtually bankrupt, our country, that we have to charge our children £9,000 a year to go to university, that we're laying off hundreds of thousands of people in the mm. public sector because we can't pay their bills. We're told over and over again by the same government that is spending £40,000 a night on yeah. hotels, hotels for well, pilots. £40,000 a night for hotels for pilots to bomb someone else's country when our pensioners in the winter yeah. time are going shivering but, cold. But, but, it's surreal. But the argument, as with the argument yesterday on vaccines, is that still in the world Britain is a relatively rich country and shouldn't stand idly well, by. Well, it doesn't if, feel if it relatively in, rich. If, if it can step well, in and stop people from being killed. Well, it doesn't feel relatively killed. rich if you're one of the children paying the £9,000 a year in order to be taught at university or you're one of the people who's suffering the cuts or losing your job. But that's not my only argument. You have the logic is overwhelming. You have made it clear already in the first five minutes of this show. This is a stalemate, an expensively produced yeah. stalemate. And we're either going to have to pay vastly more to change that stalemate or huckle down for what the Admiral called uh, a siege. And uh, do the British yeah. people really so want what, to what lay I'm siege? Is, is the, basi the basic point of, of the military commitment at the time, mm. uh, you've heard... Uh, that, you know, had there not been an intervention, there would have been a massacre in Tripoli. A lot of people would have been killed. I don't accept it at all, and neither does the government, because there are massacres going on elsewhere in the same very, very same region, at which we don't lift a finger to intervene. We're not going to invade or occupy or bomb Syria. We had no intention of stopping Israel bombarding okay. Gaza. The Yemen, thousands of people have been right. killed in the Yemen. Okay, so why the difference for Libya? The difference is because Libya is only a 5 million population, yet up to now nearly 13,000 have been killed, over 50,000 have been injured, hundreds and hundreds of cases of gang rape, yet in Tunisia, which is twice the population, only 300 killed, in Egypt, which is 15 times the population of Libya, only 400 uh, killed, Syria is six times the population of Libya, only 1,300 killed. I am not condoning the killings in other countries. Even one life lost in Syria or Egypt or Tunisia is not acceptable. Well, but in Libya, it's a totally different case. This is a mad despot who is out of control, intent on killing half of his population just to hold on to power. The question is, did we want to allow another Rwanda in North Africa or did we want to interfere as an international and legal and moral obligation to protect a whole population called the Libyan people? But that is really the question. No, the, but there are mad despots everywhere. And Britain, Britain is a small... bomb them. I wouldn't mind. No, I know you wouldn't mind, but it's us that's being asked to bomb them. It's us that's paying no, for the bombing. No, it's the international community. It's no, no, 34 no. Well, countries. We're not Britain is, it's costing well, Britain 38 million a actually, week. We are grateful for that. Okay. But Britain is not paying for the whole well, campaign. Well, it's an international please campaign. Let me speak. Okay. Please let me speak. Yes. This is my country and it's my air force. It's my country as it's well. My, is it? Yeah, I'm I a British. Libya was your country. Yeah, I'm a British citizen as well. Ah, okay. Yes. Well, we've cleared that up. Yes. It's my country that's being asked to spend £38 million pounds a week. And I pay what, taxes Please let this me as well. speak. Yes. £1 billion pounds by the autumn to bomb what used to be your country. Whilst State other co country... Well, make up your oh, mind. Well, okay, hang on. Make so up let's your just mind. stay on the substantive with, with, issue. With yeah. Other despots are killing their people in large numbers. We're not being asked to, neither will we, bomb and spend £38 million pounds a week bombing them. So the question is... Why are we doing it for his former country, stroke, now country? And the answer is obvious. It's our oil interests that have fastened our attention on Libya. Okay. Not because Gaddafi was a despot. When I was calling him a despot, yeah. Adam, Tony Blair was kissing him yeah. in a tent in the no, desert. I, I was there. But anyway, uh, let, but let's put that as an argument that, that this is in fact because uh, the West NATO is interested in Libyan oil in the long run. Well, this is a, this is a very well-known cliche which George and others uh, try to put across all the time. Yes, Libya happens to be an oil country, but that's not the reason. The reason is because Gaddafi decided to kill as many as 
of Libyans as possible to hold on to power. And if the international community and Britain is playing part of that, but it's not yeah. wholly uh, uh, responsible uh, in charge of the yeah. campaign, if they did not intervene, then we would have had a huge How, massacre. You, that you, is you, you've, you've said you believe 13,000 people have been killed. Absolutely. How many of those have been killed by the rebels and by the NATO operation? No, no, the rebels don't, the, what do you call they rebels? The, the freedom fighters don't kill our own people. Oh. These are people, the rebels don't have well, grad you, missiles. Well, you they didn't use Libya, airplanes. No, I mean, they, I, I, they must have, it hasn't all been one way, has it? I mean, this is a war that's going yes, on that's being Yes, fought. the freedom fighters have killed some of the people fighting on Gaddafi's side, but these are uh, soldiers and officers right. using multi-rocket launchers and tanks and, and, okay. and, and, and artillery. Yeah. Obviously, this is a war, but killing civilians, the only one okay. who's doing that is Gaddafi okay. and his security I brigades. I just want to ask that, you both briefly a final question. I know you're going to disagree. George Galloway, where is this going to end in your Still view? Stalemate and the partition of the country with the Gaddafi, the dictator's crew, hanging on to the western part and the stooges of international uh, imperial okay. power uh, governing in Benghazi. <laughs> This is going to end on Gaddafi and his sons being squeezed out by the Libyan people mainly with the help of the international community. I wish it was the Libyan Can people. I finish, please? This is not the House of Commons. Please yeah. don't heckle me, George, okay? Uh, me squeezed, heckling you. Uh, squeezed out by the, before the end of the summer, hopefully, and then the Libyan people will craft a constitution and have a, a democratic government and get on with the business of rebuilding Libya, which is much better, democratic, with proper okay. development and in good relations with the rest of the world. The, the, the totally the opposite of the nightmare of the last 42 years in Libya under Gaddafi. If that happened, it'd be worth having, wouldn't it? Yes, if the Libyans could have overthrown Gaddafi themselves, we will. nobody would be happier okay. than me. We, we will. Just don't ask me to pay for it. We will we leave will. it on that note Thank of agreement. You. Thank, Thank you both you. very much.